All right, Audra, thanks so much. And how would you like to know what your uncle's secret barbecue sauce ingredient is that's missing or your mom's apple pie that you just can't seem to figure out? Well, as a rare 5C clairvoyant, we'll find out what that is in just a second, Janie Beauclair can taste and smell foods as she does readings to connect people to their loved ones. Janie, how are you? I am fabulous. Such a wonderful wow. morning. Yes, a fantastic morning. Now, we're going to get into this recipe, but explain, and what we went through just a little bit earlier, you and I. <laughs> we woo! had a little fun, absolutely. Let me I'm tripping out right now. But, but 5C, explain that, please. It's all five senses of mine are intact and on high alert. So basically what that means is that I can smell, I can taste, which really helps me in the kitchen when I'm channeling recipes. You mean without eating? Exactly, exactly. So when I connect to the other side, I not only hear people, see people, feel them like what they might have gone through, but I smell and taste the things that they used to cook in order to remind you of these beautiful memories of family things that had gone on in your life. Okay, and we're going to get into this in just a second this morning came a little early and I will tell you I had just a little bit of skepticism no more because she had you some. a little bit <laughs> but not anymore you channeled some people and and you started talking about my grandmother's Portuguese sweet bread we call it matzah I've always yes. wanted to know about that recipe to share it with the family she passed away before I could ever get it right and it, what got me most of all was when you said all right so she does the loaves of matzah talked about the entire process and then she said now, it's usually in a square pan, which it is. I don't know anybody else who uses a round pan for that. And then you said, but your grandmother used a round pan. And I was like, whoa, no way. <laughs> and then you talked about how she'd get on a stool. And, and I didn't tell her any of this, by the way. I told her nothing. She would get up and press down with her knuckles, and she had to get above it. And it was all true. Yeah. So while I'm tripping out about that, let's talk about this recipe that you have channeled. Yes, this recipe actually I channeled literally three days ago. Uh, a young lady wanted to connect to her grandmother so she could pass recipes on to her daughter. So the grandmother came through with a Hungarian cookie. And very easy to make. I'm just going to roll right into it, if that's all right. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, she rattled me off the instructions, which was two and a quarter cups of flour and half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of sugar. And she says a little bit because she says just dump in a little bit. And so we throw in some butter softened, some cream cheese softened. Oh my and, God, these look good. And cream oh my cheese God. and anything is good. Let me good. tell you, the reason that I wanted to show you guys how to do this and how easy this is to do is because in the bakery, they are wicked expensive. But to make it yourself, it's literally cost you not much at all. Maybe 10 bucks to make 15 versus $15 a pound at a bakery. Yeah, didn't you so, say like $60 or something for a yeah, certain number of them? Yeah, for the same amount that we're going to make now. Yeah. So basically, you put all this together, you mix it up real good. And you want the, me to do that? Sure. You, okay. Have a good time. Um, in the meantime, we're taking apricots and we're taking fresh ones because she said, don't get the dried ones, get the fresh ones. So we're listening to you, Pearl. So we're filling the bottom of the pan with apricots, and then we're just putting enough water just to cover the top of it. And so what's going to happen next is it's just going to simmer, and it's going to simmer for a few minutes. And while it's simmering, you're pushing, you're taking your spoon and you're pushing down on it, okay? And so what's going to happen is you're going to end up with this. And this is just smooshed up apricots, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So this becomes a dough. You take it out, you roll it out, and here we are with the rolled out version. And so all we're doing is we're going to use our spoons, because she used a spoon, and we're going to cut strips. Oh, just like that, that yep. easy. So basically we're going to make some squares. Okay, that's okay. simple. Real easy. All right, now we've got just a little bit of time left, so, now, so we've got to see this finished product, too. Okay, so now you make literally a square, right? And we'll pull one of the squares out of here so you can see. Just a square. You take some of your little goodies. She did the two-spoon method. You throw one in there like that. Go ahead and try one on your own. I'm going to see if I can do it without the other spoon. And then you put it across like this, and you pinch it. And that's it. You put it in the oven just like that. And this is what it comes out looking like. So it's at 200 for 15 minutes. And how do you know they're ready? When they shake on the pan. Oh, so they when they stick. don't stick, then you know they're ready. All right. Then you sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on them, and they're ready to go. And Clint, I also made a version oh. with raspberry, because you can do the exact same thing with raspberry, another recipe she did. And voila, apricot and raspberry Hungarian kiffle.
I there see why it. these are so expensive. They taste amazing. Aren't they awesome? And only 15 minutes in the oven. And you said her name is Pearl? Pearl. Pearl, yes. thank you. Tell Pearl thank you. Thank you, Pearl. We love you, baby. This was phenomenal. Thanks Janie for Beauclair, sharing you can get a hold of her on her website. And one more time, what is that website? TheClairvoyantGourmet.com. Wow. She can even do readings on the phone, so keep that in mind. It's true. Reach out to me. I'll freak you out. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, you freaked me out. That's for sure. Thank you so much. Absolutely a pleasure. All right. Still